Last minute preparations tonight for the Eastern Alabama High School Marching Band. Tomorrow, they'll put on their spring show. It'll honor those who lost their lives in the terrorist attacks. The show will contain compositions written exclusively for the band. The show is open to the public, and if you'd like to attend, it starts at 7 o'clock tomorrow. Just go to the Eastern Alamance High School Auditorium. The event is free. And we'll play the world premiere of a musical tribute to 911. WFMY News 2's Alamance County Bureau Chief uh, Tracy Grazer has a closer look and listen. When Eastern Alamance band students tune in, they tune out everything else. I have so much school stuff in it. When I play music, I think about nothing else but music. Sounds heard here every day, except one. We really couldn't play any music that day. September 11th, the day I was born, so it was a rough day, my sweet 16th birthday. Now that we get to show our feelings about this, it means a lot to us. Sharing feelings through an original musical tribute we felt like we needed to make a statement because we didn't want the memory of the tragedy and the memory of the heroism involved uh, to, to fall away. We've entitled it American Heroes Fallen and Risen. Basically, it's a musical journey going through the day of September 11th. The first movement is sunrise over a great nation. It's just a, a fast-paced, optimistic look at a brand new day. Good. Go to 848. 8.48 is the second movement, the approximate time of the first attack. We wanted to put into the music the, the darkness of the, of the hour, the, uh, the panic and the confusion. After that, a couple of horn players sound taps. We highlight uh, our tribute to the rescue workers, and it's very emotional. All right. America Restored. We're going to put closure on this. And the last, we, it's America the Beautiful, but we've renamed it America Restored. A program providing healing, allowing students to do more than just play, but serve as instruments of peace. In Mebbit, Tracy Grazier, WFMY News 2. Part of the tribute was commissioned specifically for the Eastern Marching Band. You can catch their performance at Eastern Alamance High School tonight at 7 o'clock. The concert is free. Compositions follow the events of the day from the optimism of early morning through the shock to the horror for those fallen. We really believe that um, our community and our country through the, uh, the tenacity and dedication of, uh, of young people like these uh, is going to restore what America uh, really uh, is. <laughs> Band members were in class when they got the news of the attack September 11th, and Mr. Cook says no one felt like playing for a while. Now, the Marching Evil Eagle Band plans to perform the Heroes' compositions for their fall competition and at halftime shows. Sounding good, too. Really good. What an honor. Cool high school band tonight. Eastern Alabama's high school marching band played their spring concert. It honored those who lost their lives in the terrorist attacks. The show contained compositions written exclusively for the band, and in the end, a standing ovation for the countless hours of hard work and practice put in by the band members. Nice Good for job. them. Very mm -hmm. nice. It sure is nice. In the hours following last year's terrorist attack, Americans everywhere felt an overwhelming desire to do something. That sentiment was not lost on a group of Piedmont High School student musicians who wasted no time getting busy on a new composition based on September 11th. Today, they performed that piece in hopes of making their classmates and themselves feel a little better. Ladies and gentlemen, American heroes, born and risen. For the Marching Eagles of Eastern Alamance High School, this is no ordinary performance. In fact, it's been a year in the making. Well, as soon as the attack happened, you know, we knew we had to do something. What so. they did was get to work, working from a new composition penned by their band director. These young musicians developed a new routine to celebrate America's enduring spirit. It took a lot of patience on these kids' parts, uh, whereas many students their age would have thrown it all away when it really started to get difficult. But the kids stuck with it, and today they performed the piece for their fellow students. 
Music is just our way to express ourselves, and not everybody has that gift, but I think that's our gift and our way of expression. And even if that expression is lost on others, it's already done some good. This is therapy for them. They'll come out after a very difficult day of their schoolwork, and this show ministers to them. It really makes them feel better. And it's a safe bet those feelings will be shared by all who witness their performance and their passion. The Marching Eagles of Eastern Alamance High School will again perform American Heroes Fallen and Risen tonight at 7 o'clock in the Mebane Arts Center.